வீட் ஸ்டன் பிடிச்சு வீட் ஸ்டன் பிடிச்சு an application of application of kirchhoff laws right <clears throat> already we discussed in the earlier concepts kirchhoff laws in a simple electrical circuit ohms ohms law is applicable in a complex electrical circuit ohms law does not holds good in the complex electrical network right to calculate the total current to calculate the potential difference in any branch of the electrical circuit we are using the kirchhoff laws right now kirchhoff laws are useful for complex electrical networks now these kirchhoff laws are two kirchhoff first law kirchhoff second law kirchhoff first law is called junction law kirchhoff second law is also known as loop law kirchhoff first law is according to the conservation of the charge kirchhoff second law is according to the conservation of energy right now kirchhoff first law is known as law of currents kirchhoff second law is known as law of voltages now here what is the kirchhoff first law that is kirchhoff current law kirchhoff current law what is the statement the algebraic sum of currents at a junction is equals to zero kcl means kirchhoff current law what is the statement of kirchhoff current law the algebraic sum of currents at the junction is equals to zero next one the currents towards the junction are taken as positive the currents away from the junction are taken as negative right what is the sign convention in the kirchhoff first law that is currents towards the junction are taken as positive the currents away from the junction are taken as negative now next one kirchhoff voltage law kirchhoff voltage law that is the algebraic sum of potential differences is equals to zero the algebraic sum of potential differences is equals to zero in other words the algebraic sum of e plus algebraic sum of i r is equals to 0 right according to this one what is the statement the algebraic sum of potential differences in a closed loop is equals to 0 according to this statement what is the definition kirchhoff voltage law the sum of algebraic sum of emfs in the circuit and algebraic sum of products of current or currents and resistances in various branches of the electrical circuit is equals to 0 here is also sign convention is there what is the sign convention potential drop that is potential drop potential drop is taken as negative potential drop is taken as negative whenever the current flows from higher potential to lower potential it is taken as negative now here in this case potential rise potential rise potential rise is taken as positive potential rise is taken as positive therefore whenever the current is traveling from that is lower potential to higher potential that is taken as negative here potential drop is taken as negative potential drop is taken as negative potential rise is taken as positive now next one what is the wheatstone bridge what is the wheatstone bridge what is the wheatstone bridge right wheatstone bridge wheatstone bridge is an electrical circuit Wheatstone bridge, the, Wheatstone bridge is the electrical circuit. Now, four resistances, four different resistances are connected 
on the sides of a quadrilateral and between two opposite corners there is a battery between remaining two opposite corners if the galvanometer is connected then such an arrangement is called Wheatstone bridge let us consider let us consider here now here this is first resistance this is called first resistance now this is called what to say second resistance now this is called third resistance this is the third resistance now this is called what to say right fourth resistance this is the fourth resistance now right that quadrilateral p is the resistance value q is the resistance value r is the resistance value s is the resistance value how many resistances p q and r s are arranged on the sides of a quadrilateral next one between any two opposite corners right a galvanometer is connected now in between any two opposite corners the galvanometer is connected galvanometer is like this right between any two opposite corners galvanometer is connected between remaining corners between the remaining corners what to say a battery is connected a battery is connected like this a battery is connected right now p q r s are arranged on the four sides of a quadrilateral between any two corners a galvanometer between any remaining opposite corners a battery is connected therefore this is called v now here this is the point a this is the point b this is the point c this is the point d what is the name of the quadrilateral a b c d on the side ab p is the resistance connected on the side bc q is the resistance connected on the side cd s is the resistance connected on the side da r is the resistance connected between any two opposite corners bd a galvanometer is connected remaining opposite corners a and c are connected by a battery v now here in this case for this circuit kirchhoff first law must be applied kirchhoff second law must be applied kirchhoff first law must be applied for the junctions kirchhoff second law must be applied for loop before going to that one now i want to distribute the current what is the total current coming i is the total current coming therefore i is the total current which is passing towards the junction a this is called current i now current is going to be distributed as the current is going to be distributed that is i1 and the next current is i2 right at the junction i at the junction a current is going to be distributed as i1 and i2 the point where the current is going to be divided the point where the current is going to be combined is called electrical junction here how many junctions are there a b c d but the whole current coming from the battery the whole current coming from the battery i therefore it is coming like this at the point a that is current is divided into i1 and i2 right now i1 current come i1 current reaches here i1 current reaches here. i1 current once again it faces a junction therefore i1 current once again splits into ig and i3 here what is the inward current i1 what is the inward current i1 right now i1 is splitted into ig and i3 now ig is coming like this towards the junction d i2 is coming like this towards the junction d therefore what is the current ig here what is the current i2 both are combined to form as a i4 now here is the current the current is like this i4 current is like this i3 current is like this both are combined to form as a i therefore this is reaches the negative terminal i 
therefore here the current is going to be distributed throughout the circuit and combines to reach the i now this is the current distribution current resistance current i3 resistance q current i4 resistance s yes. current i2 resistance r current ig and resistance g now we are connecting a galvanometer what is the galvanometer galvanometer is a device to measure the small amounts of currents galvanometer resistance is capital g now kirchhoff first law is applied that is kirchhoff first law kirchhoff first law is applied kirchhoff first law must be applied to the junction how many junctions are there one a b c d where at every point we can apply at every junction we can apply kirchhoff first law but here kirchhoff first law is applied where the galvanometer is connected where the galvanometer is connected across the b and d across the b and d galvanometer is connected therefore at junction b at junction d you want to apply the kirchhoff first law at junction at junction b at junction b how many currents are there that is i1 ig and i3 therefore i1 is there that is ig is there and i3 is there what is the junction the algebraic sum of currents the total sum of currents is equals to zero i1 towards the junction b positive ig away from the junction that is negative i3 away from the junction that is negative this is called what to say first equation 